bugging me. Was that bugging you guys all week? What a crazy week we've had, huh? I hope everyone's having... Uh, some time to reflect. Time to read, enjoy life. You know, just last week we didn't have any time. Now we got all the time in the world to get to know our families, our friends, ourselves, read a book. I was thinking about maybe a little higher. Seeing how it plays out of work right now, that'd be a good time to hit up Gorby Donald's in the show. A long time. Take that last one. Like, what is it? They can't leave the state. They can't leave their homes. Oh, Have that's you gone? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't leave after this show. You seem blue. Now that you're in the you quarantine, you're stuck. Sad, missing, sad, Hi, everyone. Never. <laughs> come a time. Now don't forget it, baby. Peter. Come a time. Seems like tonight they're going to be watching the 1961 Some classic Anatomy of a Psycho. Is that what it is tonight? Yes. Anatomy of a Psycho. Yes. You want me what do you think about that? I love it. The Anatomy of a Psycho is uh, different. Their elbows are where their knees are, the ribs. The psycho bones connected. <laughs> the anatomy of the psycho is is, uh, is different. Oh, that's going to be silly tonight. I love it. Okay. Here, let's, uh, let's start to off right, which gives you a nice blank slate. What would you like? Would you like... Uh, like a screenshot of the yeah. Really? So, yeah, what is it? It's, uh, who's in this thing? That's a good question. We'll be right back. Ooh, I like that. I like, that was a, that was a still. That's a still. That's like what they used to put in the lobby of the movie theater when they played. Uh, that's that's a sizzler right there. Things are getting hot in the anatomy. I like the other one better. Hey, there's a good one. It's like, what's going on? These are action shots. From the movie. Look at that, man. Ooh. We were just going off of that. It doesn't look good. It looks like he's going to hit her. <laughs> yeah, you'll see that gap between them. Mm -mm. That's camera trick. That's what they used to do for the... And the oh, guy yeah. would go, he's like a mile away. <laughs> I don't know. The penises are here. Anatomy of a psycho. That explains why he's a psycho. His knees are where his chin should be. This guy's got a Frankie haircut, too. I thought that was Frankie Avalon at first. It's a Beach Boy Frankie haircut. It's like that. It's like the one. All right, hip cats and cool cats. We got a group coming up for you next. It's like, who are you introducing at the house party? I'm going to sing a song now. Yeah. Now I sing. I think I was like all rigid. 
<laughs> it was a dance. <laughs> oh, that's too good, man. You know it. <clears throat> okay. I gotta charge my phone. Okay, here's some. Here's some. Let me take a good eye. Anyway. I'm gonna take a picture of this real quick. So, here's a variety of shots that came up when we uh, brought up anatomy of a psycho. If you are welcome to use any, any or all of these. Any. Or you can develop your own feature because you are such a great artist. If you're at home, drawing, draw along with this. Uh... <laughs> Lawrence Will <laughs> does Bob Ross. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And now we will have three happy little trees singing. I can't get no satisfaction. Where are you going to put your happy tree? <laughs> I'm putting mine behind the bubble sisters. <laughs> The Lemon Sisters. The Lemon Sisters. The Happy Little Lemon Sisters will now sing, I can't get no satisfaction. Take it away, Lemon Sisters. I can't get no. <laughs> Take us there, won't you please? <laughs> I did, I had a tight seven on Ward's Welk before I figured out nobody knew that Ward's Welk <laughs> What's that for? I had a tight five, man. I had all those killer Ward's Oh, wait, Welk you're talking about for real. You really did have... What, Ward's Welk material? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was working my way through the whole catalog before I figured out people didn't know what Dude, well, you know what? Was. You know what I've learned? Don't wait for people to know what you're talking about. Because <laughs> it ain't going to happen sometimes. And sometimes it's still funny if they don't know. Uh, I think my trio of jokes, I think the last one, I think is where I lost. I think I had them up to the last one. No, you one. didn't lose them. I think the last one when I was walking off, they were like, Hey, that's not as good as one and two. No one said that. Pull your head out of your butt. Dude, that was, that was, so, it was so much fun being silly. Well, you know. well, then maybe that's your secret, man. You know? Or quit writing jokes and just get up there and act out stuff. Do whatever, whatever brings out the funny in you. Because, like, I've done that before. I've gotten up and, and like, practiced stuff that I've practiced all week. And then people aren't laughing. It's like, well, because it was your homework. No one wants to watch you do a mission. They want to. They want to have fun. If you can have fun, then they like you. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Hey, do you need a, uh, you need a charge? Yeah. I was gonna post this, and I was thinking about going live. We did that before too. Didn't we? I just I think it. I think it'll get a couple more viewers. Where did you? Uh, I've got a longer. I've got a longer. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would help. Man, I'm glad I'm not back in LA. Why? What's going on out there right now? Well, they're all uh, they're all in their homes. They've all been. We're doing remarkably well. We are. I think I think the total of what I saw was like 55 dead in the United States, compared to like 2,500 dead in Italy, 1,700 in Spain, 1,400 in France. Like we're we're doing okay. The UK had like 50. I guess us and England are doing. Well. I was wondering how Canada is doing. I don't know, I should have been. Like South America. I just saw the Evo Morales. Evo Morales took off from Bolivia. He was their president when I was down there. He was their he was a soccer champ that ran for president and he won. And everyone loved him and then he he decided he wanted a second term. Just took it. 
and then a third term came, and he said, well, I'm going to do it again. I like the whole thing so much, let's just go around again. Then the people were like, no, that's enough. So then I just, I, I, I need to finish reading this story, but he took off. It's like if Trump just now left the country. I can't give you anything it's weird. but love. So they don't know whether or not he fled the country or if he was chased out. It's weird. I've fled it up, oh baby. Dream of wild, scheme of wild. Wish your divine, baby, happiness. And I guess the best, best, the best, the best, the Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell, baby, baby. Diamond dresses, wool work doesn't sell, my pretty baby by the no, I, I, one of my favorite things is here's here's some good things, right? One, families are spending more time together than they have in recent history. I mean, a lot more. Probably too much, but you know. second thing. Tell me. You know, this is a great time for communities to strengthen. Oh yeah. If they would just. No, no. This is this is this could be. If you think about it, in the 1920s, we had the Great Depression, and and we had just finished World War One. People were still cuts were still healing from World War One when the Great Depression happened, and yet. If you look at what came out of the Great Depression, some of the best literature, poems, um, uh, playwrights, actors, painters, musicians, jazz was born. Uh, I mean, some of the best stuff that we know as a people, as humans, came out of the time of great suffering. Yeah. And I think it also tightens people's faith belts. You know, I'm not against people having faith. I want people to have faith. I want people to have faith that moves mountains. And a lot of times, it's hard whenever we're so busy bickering about the little things that we don't even have any room for divine intervention. We don't have the time for it. We wouldn't know what to do with uh, divine intervention if we had it. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you something. You. Animation. Yeah. Turn that off for a second. Well, never mind. Don't turn it off. I just want you to be able to hear this because you're going to recognize this music. Is it late? Huh? Is it late? One bag dropping in, you're bringing in. No, I drew these as one piece, and then so like the popcorn, watching the guy come in. That's yeah. awesome. So all this movement is what 
Anna has done. I'm talking about that. Yeah. This coming in. Yeah, yeah. And this coming in. And them coming up like that. It's all Anna's doing that. I drew all the pictures, and she's putting the movement in it. I love this dude. The life of a popcorn colonel just sees this person coming through the door to get him. Like that view right there? What? How long is this? 30 second spot? Three and a half minutes. Hmm. It's just, it's just, uh, to play before the movie begins? Uh huh. Okay. This is just the animatic. Colonel falling in love with a person. Not two colonels falling in love with each other. Oh, it's one colonel. Oh. And he's just singing and being happy that he's free. There's oh. the Tulsa driller. He slides across. Is his name Tim? Colonel. <laughs> Does he have an uncle Tim? Ha. Here's where he meets his friends. The light bulb and the pretzels. And they sneak out of the trash can together. And they jump onto the stack of film reels carried by this woman. Oh no! Oh, oh wait, okay. here he comes. He's okay. Boing. Okay. I was I was upset for him. I was sad for for Colonel. I know how oh, Uncle, I know how Uncle Tim would have cried. He's dead. Oh, there's a fest coming up. Yeah. This is due, this product is due by April 1st because the, the, uh, it's April 10th. And the, the festival is supposed to be at the end of April, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Have you ever wanted to write Ben at the end? I almost did on that. <laughs> I know. Because I'm, I've seen I've seen classy people do it, so it's got to be cool, you know. Europeans do it. Well, yeah, it's their language. <laughs> what is that? Italian? Finn? I, I believe so. Cristo. The black and white makes this super art. Here, let me give you a little. Let me give you the asylum shot. Remember the one meter distancing, boys. Stay safe. Don't cough in each other's face. One meter distancing. So you gotta stay a meter. Maybe that's why Landry wouldn't shake my hands, even when I was dry humping his leg. Six feet. I heard just... As long as I can... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Don't be sorry, you're just perverted. That's all. It's all right. It's that's, not, that's not perverted. That's it's perverted. natural. It's that's one of my cleaner jokes. It's completely natural. <laughs> it's one of my cleaner ones, man. All right. What are you going to draw for us today, Peter? I don't know. Should I start the movie? Yeah, let's start the movie. Wait, wait, let me go live here. You are live. I mean on uh, Facebook. Oh, right. Look at this. Can you believe we've been doing this this long? <laughs> what? You know, um... For once, you know? Can you believe we've been... Ashlyn uses this as her, um... Facebook profile shot. It's good. It's good shot. It's good picture. It's weird because I didn't, I didn't uh, see it until I was scrolling through Facebook, and I was like, wait a second, that looks like something I drew. Wait, did you pick up everything on the ground? That's what you did. Yeah, I did. I picked Here, up. Give everything. me. Get, no, 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 no. You just I picked up everything. There on we the go. Ground. 
We're just only we're trying to to keep these nice. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. He's such a nice boy. Oh, by the way. Huh. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna be traveling now. Who? The magician. I was supposed to have a, a special Thursday show in April. April 9th. I was supposed to do a special public access live because someone that was traveling through on the way to other comedy shows. I was going to have Martin Viola. And now I don't know if he's trapped. I don't think he can. Yeah. Where would you stay? Right. I mean, if you're out on the well, road. Well, you know, he, his address was his car for a while. So, mm. <laughs> you know, he's, he's a traveling comic. Know. No, I didn't mean like he lived in his car. I meant like he travels so much, he calls mm. that his address. No, he's not hard up. I'm just like... The mailman's chasing him down the highway trying to get his mail to him. <laughs> Pull over! I have a publisher's clearing house for you! And of course you're going to pull over because you know you will. <laughs> no one else. All right, all right. Let's see what he's... <sighs> I guess I'll pull over for a million dollars. Okay. okay. I'm going to do this, so... This movie... I don't know what to say about it other than Landry Miller told me he has seen it. And that's the only spoiler I have. Ladies and gentlemen. A deluge. Without further ado. There's a comedian in town who just posted today that he came in contact with someone. Fred Jefferson. Yeah, that's who it was. I'm gonna get uh, one more cup of coffee real quick. And then, uh, ooh, I like this already. I like it when you can tell that they didn't have a budget, you know? How can you tell in the 1950s? This actually looks like it's shot pretty good. All the, all the, no, but these are live shots. You see, it's not done in a studio. Like, that's a guy outside, really. Those aren't actors, or if they are, they're just, I mean, you can just tell. But, the, but they rented good cameras. This isn't crap photography. Is what I'm saying. Like, it's crisp. It hasn't been it's really grainy, though. Well, it's 1961. Have you seen other movies? Like Elvis. Have you seen other movies from 61? This is good. Well, I like the way it looks. Boy, that guy's... The lighting is great. Uh-oh. Marco dies tonight for brutal slapping. Starting the movie now, Anatomy of the Psycho from 1961. Please sit back, relax, as Peter Bedgood does some art, and we watch a movie together. Stay safe out there. This is your captain, out.
for me. Ooh, Marco's a real killer. You guys want to see a real killer here? Real killer. My brother didn't kill anybody. Your brother was a punk killer. <laughs> Looks like a serious actor. You were talking about budget. Mm -hmm. Please shut up. Here, what is the budget of this of this movie? Do you know? We're only five minutes in. I'm sure people won't won't mind. No, no, th this is interesting. Here, watch. You want to know the budget of this movie? Watch he walks outside the prison. Watch the, pri the prison. Watch the prison wall in the background because it's green screen and he's not on steady cam. Like, whatever's shooting him isn't steady enough to keep the background from moving. What? <gasps> Are you kidding me? I mean, the lighting's good, but when he's standing still, and it's a lot of movement. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, the budget was really low for this. <laughs> I bet the budget was like ten thousand dollars for this movie. Wait, wait, wait till you see the interaction between the actors. One of them will—they'll all wait till they complete their line before another one will begin. Very high school theater. They're just being polite. <laughs> we believe in polite acting. See, they all wait till they finish. Come on, lay off. So Get your hands off of me. It's so delayed. You guys want to see a real killer here? Real killer. My brother didn't kill anybody. Your brother was a punk. Switchblade. Oh, no bottle. You knew, you knew he was going to dig something out of the trash. That's where, it was already focused in on the trash. Did he turn into Mickey? And he's still a punk rock. Let's cheese it, boys. I really could. <laughs> Let's cheese it, boys. Is that 1960s lingo? I wasn't around then. <laughs> Man. What was I doing? Uh, you were going to come up with an idea for a piece of arts knuckles that may or may not have something to do with anatomy of a psycho. Or not. It's a Peter Bedgood show. You can just do Peter. Oh, yeah. I was going to... Facebook Live. Is there anything mm -hmm. else you need? Are you good on coffee, snack? Yeah, I'm great. Um, just let me do something real quick before you start your Facebook.
gotta find out if there's a if the place that I gotta find out if they're over oh, because I'm I work one more day tomorrow. To Tomorrow's my last day. <coughs> we'll Just write it down. Okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> let me bring you back in on camera. Your mic's hot. Uh, there you are. Here you are in the bottom corner. Hey, everybody. I'm in the bottom corner. Word up. Hi. So, uh, I'm gonna go refill my coffee. All right. And you're gonna. Talk I'm gonna to go. People. Yeah. Sorry for letting us down. Can you imagine letting us down for everything you've done for us? Kiss you goodbye. We're watching. Pat, let me thank you for that. <coughs> We're watching uh, a really good movie. Anatomy of a Psycho. Anatomy of a Psycho. Don't start running, Chad. What you thinking? Getting some inspiration there, Bonnet? Butter Bonnet? Yeah. She's got a real Mary Ann thing happening, too. That's what, that's why I, 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 it's not Don Wells. It's but not. She, no, but, but she really does have that, kind of that full vibe. I wish there was some way I could do this without having to hold it. Oh, right. Um, we were gonna work on that. Yeah. Let Let's see. Me what do I have? Just, just put it on. Oh. Uh, okay, so we'll get you a little table first. Work out the problem. I have a harmonica thing. I could put it in. First, let's add a little table in here. Well, it seems like now would be a great time to reread uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we'll just set this right here. It's pretty steady. Yeah, that's good. We have this little it's no prison wall, but it'll do. Oh, there you go. Okay, which way do you set it? Upright or long ways? Up and down? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll do this. We'll unlock this little deal here, and we'll turn this sideways for you. And then all you have to do is lock your phone into here. Like you're taking this awfully hard. Okay. Got it. Like that. And then you can adjust it for however you want. Oh, and you can wow. tighten here, you can tighten this. You can okay. Do, you can pivot, or is that good? Turn it this way more. Hmm. Do you need a... It's going to be backwards, isn't it? If you want to be able to see it, yeah. If I want to see it? It's if you want to be able to see yourself, it'll be backwards. I don't have to see myself. Well, you can always do it that way. All right, we'll set up the shot like that. Now I won't even need to worry about it. Yeah, I don't want to see me. <laughs> there he is. There's that guy. Okay, let's. There. Okay. You know what? Huh. You might actually like this a lot. Okay. So I've got you. Tell me when you want to go live. I'm ready. Start live video? Is that all I have to do? Yep. Okay, let me, um. 
Let me turn this more so the leg is... There you go. There we go. Like that. You're live. Hi. We're live. How do we... Um... I'll put it in the chat. Okay. I'll put a link to the Twitch channel if they want to go there and see you. You're up. Hi. I'm going to draw, and I love you, and I pray that everyone is safe and sound tonight, and that uh, everyone is having uh, fun um, indoors, and um, getting to spend some quality time with uh, the ones you love, maybe making some new friends. Maybe we're all going to learn a lot about ourselves in this time. Maybe we're all going to be closer, and maybe we're going to be better, better off. And I'm a lot of people are going to be in pain, uh, and I Easy feel man. for those people. I would like to do something if you don't mind. No, not at all. Okay. I would like to take all of your art supplies and put it on this lower table, uh -huh. and then put the camera on the taller ones. Mm. So you're not looking down at people. Great job. If you don't mind. Guys. I would like to introduce my friend and yours, Mr. John Tyler. Too kind. John and his wonderful wife, Tara, are kind enough to let me invade their house once a week and draw pictures and watch movies and we're going to draw. And we're watching a movie called Anatomy of a Psycho. Link is in chat. The link is in the chat if you want to watch it with us. It's a horrible movie. <laughs> the budget was $7. And four of that. <laughs> and most of that was spent on catering <laughs> <laughs> and the director's back rub. <laughs> yeah. The director took six of it and they split the, <laughs> the other quarters. This movie was filmed exclusively on location in a car wash in Los Angeles. <laughs> Hey, look, we got we got a set. Okay, here's some pencils, and erasers, and cheap sound effects. I like that. I tried to get Landry to take it with him. <laughs> he said it was too too high quality for his show. Okay, so let's move you in. What do you think about? Oh no! I... <laughs> I'm sorry, Facebook. <laughs> Sorry, Peter. Rotate your phone. What do we do? Okay. Oh. I got to check my notes to see. Oh man, they're on my phone. Oh. No, no, it's okay. I don't. I, I don't need to check my notes that bad. Um. Just gonna try to remember. You know, something funny. I, I like to think of things that are funny, and then, uh, then once I, once I have a thought that I think is funny enough, then I draw something. I got you. But I want you guys to be able to see. Excellent job. Oh yeah, and you can't see your chat now. I'm gonna have to turn it around. You gotta be able to see the people trying to talk to you, right? No, you just okay, you do. Oh, okay. Well, I'll follow it over here. Yeah. Everybody, John is going to be uh, okay. keeping up with notes and saying hi. 
if anyone watches this... Anatomy of a Murder better go Otto Priminger. Ashley Bailey says hi, Peter. Hey, Ashley. Luke Manera is here. Peter, your hair longer than mine. <laughs> Mike H. Hobbs, looking bro. So you're looking bro. All right. Okay. Let's draw. So we have you on there, we have you on here, and we have you on here. If you guys are uh, able to find a piece of paper and a pencil and draw along with me at home. And let's see what we can come up with together. Uh, today I'm going to be drawing a... Uh, <laughs> this movie is really bad. <laughs> but it's still, it's, it's like it's, it's narrating your life. Come on, say something. You go over there like... You, know, you have that look on your face like Matt Dillon in The Outsiders when he doesn't... He can't figure out why someone shot him. He's like... He's like crawling in the middle of the street looking all quizzical. Hey, I think I'd be the same way. It's like, did Coco really tell you to do that? Does anyone have any ideas? Is there anything that someone watching would want me to draw? I'll do that. Taking suggestions. Yeah, suggestions. How about that? I'm usually much more exciting when people aren't watching. How about some coffee? Uh, Angelo Ripley Wright, or I'm sorry, Angeline Ripley Wright says, my favorite Peter. Yay! Ashley I Bailey love says, you. You've got this. I love you. Luke Ritter says he wants a comic, uh, uh, a drawing of a stand-up comic that's a dog. Got it. Stand-up comic that's a dog. Kim, stand-up comic that's a dog. Good. I like it. That's that's good. Someone now, uh, said, uh, Jared Becker says ravioli. Ravioli. Just ra he didn't say draw ravioli. He just one word in chat wrote ravioli. I can't interpret that. I like it. All right. By the way, John Tyler's dog ruined Tara's upside down pineapple cake that she made by licking the whole thing after jumping on the table. Ooh, but he's so cute. So cute. This is him. Except, except cookies or her, but other than that. Well, if I give her a mustache, it's just part of the gag. Uh, is it really? <laughs> this is such a horrible movie. Can't you leave him alone? Or, or is it the best movie? It's a great, it's a, it's a, a cautionary tale of how not to do this. He didn't have to do that. I like that. If you're a movie maker out there, do not. Unless it works. Because I could see this movie working. I just don't think they know what they were doing. I just don't think they know what they had. It's an amazing movie if you don't hold it up to scrutiny. Yeah. <laughs> Scrutiny. You're a lousy hypocrite. Doesn't that isn't that a compliment? 
Yeah, you're not a good hypocrite. You're a lousy You're a terrible liar and a lousy hypocrite. <laughs> and a pretty good lover. <laughs> and a great friend. Wait, wait. Wait, of the you... first three, I'm really not sure which one hurt the most. <laughs> you're a terrible liar. A lousy hypocrite. <laughs> And a pretty good lover. Like, all three of those hurt so bad. No, no, no. But he's a good friend. <laughs> and that makes up for it. Actually, that should be what the dog is saying. <laughs> it's an open mic. He can, he can do he can do tasteless humor like that. I've heard worse at an open mic. I've heard much better. Oh man. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I totally just touched my face. Peter, do you want to go over what the five do's are? Let's talk about the five do's <laughs> of social distancing. One, do wash your hands often and thoroughly. Two, do. not go in public if you do not have to. Isn't that one? Yes, yes, they brought you by. <laughs> by the way, this just reminded me. I'm going to be out of work for a couple of weeks. My dispensary is closing down. <coughs> the good news is he can do bed to comics five days a week now. Get ready to see a whole bunch more comics, folks. <laughs> i got to do my daily somewhere. Besides, I have a new friend. Oh, I forgot to keep up with Facebook chat. I'm sorry. Does anybody do this thing? Oh, okay. <coughs> um, oh, wow. A lot of people have had it. Let's go with all 20 comments. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Since Ravioli got your book and your calendar, you the man, says Mike H. Hobbs. Well, thank you. So Mike Hobbs is a stud. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put PeterBaby.com in there. Mike Hobbs could pick any month of the fireman's calendar and. You could put them up there and people wouldn't even know the difference. Luke McNair, Luke McNair says, Are you going to be the new Bob Robert Norman Ross, famed for being a TV artist in the 1970s? And that fro! Yo! And then he followed it up with emotes that I'm not sure. Okay, so we have um, a cake, and then a slice of cake, and then what looked like maybe a lemming, and then a person who's mad and bothered. <coughs> oh, yeah. No, that makes perfect sense if you know Luke. Luke Ritter said, does drawing serve as a therapeutic outlet for you? It looks really soothing when you're doing that shape. Yes. It is so soothing to draw. I cannot tell you how much I need to do this every day. To me, drawing is like a prayer. When I drag a line across a piece of paper, it's like I'm searing. It's like I'm cutting the universe in half with an action. It's just a little action, but it, it moves mountains. It creates things out of nothing. And I have to... My friend Jerry, who's dead now, he used to say, every time I draw a straight line, I, it's a prayer. And I know what he's talking about, because I hold my breath whenever I do it. You have to I loosen up, anyhow. Yes, to answer your questions, very <laughs> thank you. Mike Hobbs has asked, do you have a purpose for the drawing first? So I think that's asking, do you have an idea or do you just start drawing when something comes to you? Uh, if I'm alone and I'm using pencil, I will doodle. I'm trying not to waste anyone's time, but if you can't see, if I was doodling right now with this pencil, you wouldn't be able to see. We need to work on that because if if you could see me doodling and I was doodling in pencil, um, 
or like when I'm drawing on a tablet and I have the ability to erase immediately and I don't have to ruin a piece of paper that costs, you know, a dollar, um, I'm a lot more freer. Right now, because this is a great piece of paper and a marker that has a finite amount of ink, I am being more cautious. So that's why I ask for... Um, Alicia Chester says, I feel that sigh in my bones, dude. Did you give a heavy sigh? <laughs> I give so many sighs. <laughs> yeah. No, if you feel that sigh. And a marker that has a fine amount of ink. You know, it's so nice to know that we're all one. So that's why I asked for We're all one person with one heartbeat, one breath one thing floating out on this rock at the same time we're experiencing this we've lived under the delusion that we're all having different experiences but here is this sickness to remind us that we are having one <coughs> experience we are having one experience we are floating on a finite amount of dust and we live in a world of infinite possibilities. So this is one of them. And who knows what tomorrow's is going to be. But when I draw, I get to create something. I was thinking about starting a, a series called Hashtag Too Soon, where comedians get to take really, really old moments in history and make jokes about them. Ooh, I like that. So it all started because I was in the bathroom and I had this massive zit on my forehead. Uh -huh. And the joke is, if this thing gets any bigger, I'm going to have to submit DNA evidence to the Sheriff Tate murder. Hashtag too soon. Right, I see. 1970. Sometimes that's a 50-year-old joke. Right. But I'm telling it to Landry, who has a Nuremberg trial joke. And I'm like, right. so if I come up with something older than Nuremberg trials, he's like, don't even try it. I have a Hindenburg joke. And I also have two, I, and I quote, Lindbergh jokes. How am I going to compete with that? i got to go back to like Roman times to do a hashtag too soon. Well, that's interesting. Because I don't want to lose. Well, it's not a competition. <laughs> I guess it can be. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's funny that everybody in the past couple, everybody in the past week is suddenly has a Twitch stream for a podcast. I'm like, is now a good time to bring up that I've had one for three years? Because I don't want to look. Hey guys, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. You know, but you've, you've been doing it. Priscilla Bedgood. Hi, Peter Bedgood. My mom? Yes. My mom's here? Yes. <laughs> All right. Angeline Ripley Wright says, we are all in this together, yes, and That's help right. each other up the mountain. You Amen. Two, you got two choices, basically. We're all on the side of this mountain trying to get to the top. Now, you can either step on someone's head to get to the top, or you can put your arm down there and help drag someone else up with you. We're dragging people up with us. You know what? I think of it as a mountain, and everyone's feet are on my head. <laughs> you know, and the only thing that keeps it from hurting is the thought that at least one of us is getting up there. <laughs> I think that's how Martin Luther King and Jesus worked. It was like, well, maybe I'm under everyone, but at least one of them is getting up. So there's two kinds of people in this world. You got Christians and Romans, and Peter Vega does not feed people to lions. So you figure out which side you know. Yeah, man, I I, I love I love uh, I love the Lord. I love faith. I love people. Oscar Manuel. Oh, he's good. Jared Baker says my dog has a yeast infection in his ear. Your dog has a yeast infection in, in, in his ear? Well, he's been eating bread the wrong way, my friend. You need to teach your dog how to eat bread. 
Luke Ritter says that's amazing. I feel a totally random idea. And there it is. A dog doing stand up right there on that sheet of paper. That's so rad. Thanks, man. Beautiful work. Luke Ritter, if you know how to get in touch with Peter Bedgood, it is yours. You can have it. You can have that, that piece of work. Gosh, thanks, John Tyler. Just go ahead and give my art away. We do every show. I know. <laughs> Enjoy, Luke. You need to Don't chastise me. me. That, that's the bit. <laughs> What does a dog say when he's doing stand-up comedy? The lady Zumwalt says this is making my night. Oh. Luke Renner says the weeps. He's happy about his picture that you almost didn't give him. Well, I'm just... You know, it's just because it's all about money with me. <laughs> I'm just all about the money. I want to know how am I going to make a profit. I've always been this way. I've never been good at it. When I think of Peter Bedgood, I automatically think material girl. Yeah. <laughs> Diamonds, gold. I'm all about the bling. Plastic, foamy. That's the real Peter Bedgood. Anyone who knows me well enough will tell you that they don't. <laughs> I've always been this way. I've never been good at it. To know the rear of well, Peter Bedgood, you have to I'm know the phony Peter Bedgood. Because that's the real Peter Bedgood. I met him. The plastic one? He wasn't even there. I'm all about the plastic phony. That's the real Peter Bedgood. Luke Rainer says, thanks, Peter. He's going to enjoy this picture. You're very so, welcome. As as you figure out I just touched the, my face again. As soon as you figure out a joke for the dog to tell. Yeah. Um, I have a per I have a human with no nose. The plastic one? I have a human with no nose. How does he smell? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know the joke that people do about their dog? Yeah. I have a dog with no nose. Well, how does he smell? It's terrible. You know that joke? It's older. It's Bonville. Yeah. Flip it around. Make it about humans. Um. <laughs> Not good enough? No, I'm just, no, it's, it's good. I like it. It's definitely going in the... It's, it's number one right now. <laughs> it's number one, but only because there's no other songs playing. It's number one. Yeah. Terrible. Number one with a bullet sounds like the wrong way to get your stuff on the air. <laughs> but it sounds like a movie. Number one with a bullet. I think that's how Brendan Fraser and... and what was that song called? What that? Airheads. The Lone Rangers. You can't have the Lone Rangers. You can't be Lone and be good. That was the name of their band. It was Steve Buscemi, Adam Sandler, and Brendan Fraser. And the name I want to see that movie. The Lone Rangers. The Lone Rangers? You can't have a band called The Lone Rangers. You can't be lone and be plural. That's hilarious. That's so funny. I remember that movie being strangely... Wendy's in that movie. It's great. Dude, it has that kind of flair to like UHF had. It was just so cheap but funny. Well, and it's just such a weird scenario. I mean, you've got Adam Sandler, Steve Buscemi, and Brendan Fraser in the supposed same band. And Joe, uh, uh, Joe Montaigne as the DJ at the radio station. Radio what? At the radio station. That's so funny. Great. Montaigne was the, uh, he was the disc jockey that was... Yeah. Okay, everyone knows I like to put in a, a curtain. Yeah, I'm always putting in the curtain. Walker Emanuel asks, are dogs Corona in me? Mm. I think you've mistaken Peter for Google. No, I think Google would have an answer for that. Christy Mullen says, hi, Peter. Hi, Christy Mullen. How are you? Huh? Dude, I just got Evan Hughes bombed. He just liked seven of my posts at once. It's like Evan Hughes, Evan Hughes, Evan Hughes, Evan Hughes. He just found stuff I posted this week and just went off. Thank you, Evan.
He's in the chat. He's liking people's comments in the chat. What should this dog say? I was thinking that the dog could say something like, uh, I mean, I already wrote the word master. I don't know why. I have white out. I can white it out. No, I'm going to stick with it. Master now understands how much I want to go out, you know. Now, finally, master, you know what I'm saying? Like, the dog, stand-up comedian, the dog is saying something like, it's about time, you know. Now, he gets, you know, finally, Master's going to understand how much it sucks to want to go out. Master's yeah. now asking me to take him for walks. Yeah. Oh, now he wants to go for a walk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so now, now, so now he wants to go for a walk. And, uh, so, so now who needs a walk? So now who? Maybe, maybe a little accusatory as well. Uh, now who wants? Now who wants to go out? Now who's a good boy? <laughs> now who's a good boy? Uh, yeah. Master. What the, what are people saying? What are people saying? Peter Bedgood is the best. That's what they say. Now who needs to walk? That's really sweet. That's sweet. That is so sweet. I, I like bricks. I like putting bricks in the background, too. You know? I like doing this part right here. You guys can, at home, you can make your own Peter Bedgood comic. How about that? How about we do that? We'll make... And you guys fill in the blank yourself. That's what we'll do. Okay, here we go. This is going to be great. And I'm going to use the back side of this. Do you need help? I think I got it. Hold that for a second. You guys can at home. You can make your own Peter Bay. All right. Comic. So you're just going to make a simple cartoon that they can make, and yeah. then you're going to do a couple that they can make their own joke. Exactly. About. This is so cool. You guys at home are going to have your own bed good style comic, and we're going to leave it blank so that you can write in what you think we should put. All right, here we go. Really simple. I'm ashamed of how simple this is. I feel like I'm giving away the secret to a magic trick that isn't even magic. Here we go, people. No one lives forever. Even Mona Lisa's falling apart. Oh, hey, I forgot you're there. How you doing? We're on Twitch. And Twitch is right here. And Twitch, we're on Facebook. Uh, Peter Bed. Facebook. Me. Me, Twitch. Hello. I don't think they like it. Ew. Gross. Oh, hey, I forgot you're Alright, first we're going to. Okay. We're on Twitch. Twitch is I always like to put in the curtain. A little rope hanging in there. Me. Me, Twitch. And we're going to draw our crowd, all right? I know <laughs> it's easier with a pen than it is with a comedy act like mine, but we're going to draw a crowd. If only it was this easy. Then we're going to draw the other side of the stage. Uh-oh. They're fighting. Arthur, she said she was sorry. Okay, so now we've got our, you know, then, you know, I usually... Usually, I'll be honest, I start with the comedian a lot of times. That's how I usually do it. 
I should have done it like that. But here we are. So draw yourself. I'm going to draw me because that's how I, you know, I have a mirror. I look in it every day. That's why I'm used to seeing me. So I'm going to draw some eyes and maybe a nose. Draw yourself. I'm going to draw me because that's how. The microphone. I always like drawing the microphone. It's just a circle, but then I do four crosshatch lines. If I can fit them, sometimes three. One, two, three, four. Is your pen running out? One, two, or are you just light? Huh? Is your pen running out, or are you just lightly? Oh, just lightly. lightly. The microphone. I always like. So we got supplies. I know. We got our crane. Look at all these supplies. Let's give it up for Michaels and for Tara. <laughs> is that the right store? Is that where she goes or is it Hobby Lobby? Both. Anyhow, she keeps them in business. Look at all these wonderful products. If only we could learn how to trade it for toilet paper, we'd be rich. Toilet paper, come on. You just shower after you, sh you know. One good joke. I saw one good post about it. And it was Jerome Dabney with his face blacked out and that Ziploc bag full of toilet paper. Yeah. I got what you need. If only we could learn how to trade it for toilet paper. Toilet paper, come on. You just shower after you, you know. One good joke. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I raced through it. So, the thumb, I always start with the thumb and then do some fingers. Just some lines for fingers, really. The human imagination is what makes this drawing fun, not my lines. The lines are just, they're just showing your eyes what to think and where to look. But you're doing the work. I'm going to put this cool leather jacket on. I got it from an old lady, but I like it. The human imagination is what makes this drawing fun, not my lines. The lines are just, they're just showing your eyes. What do you think? The old lady was wearing a leather jacket like this. Mrs. Carnes, she's a friend of my, my dad's. She passed away, and I thought, that is a bomb-ass jacket. May I wear it? And, uh... The funeral director did not approve, but, you know, I got it. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what happened. <laughs> Everything went just as planned. Only it was closed casket. I am going to get in so much trouble. And everybody was amazed that I had a, a jacket just like their grandma. You'll probably be seeing this woman sh soon. I thought she died. I know. That's what I mean. <laughs> I should be nice. Everyone be really nice about your, your loved ones who died. Like, forgive them. Let it go. For two reasons. Number one, it makes your life a lot easier. The burden is lifted. You're the only one that carries it. And number two, you'll probably be seeing them soon. I'll probably be seeing this woman soon. I thought she died. I know. That's what I mean. I should be nice. It's not the worst thing in the world. Be nice about your loved ones. Bobby? I don't want you hanging around me anymore. There's going to be trouble. Trouble? Right here in River City? With a capital T that rhymes with this. That stands for pool. Yeah, it's a pool table. They were going to put in a pool table in town. People yeah. went nuts. You thought Flash Dance. Or, no, no, no. What was it? Uh, what was the capital? Footloose. Thing? You thought Footloose was bad, yeah. Dancing in town. These people lost their mind over a pool table. <laughs> pool equals the botch. Any 
every time this guy delivers a line, it sounds like he's going to start crying. That's how he acts, man. He's emoting. Don't you understand, Jack? Don't you understand? I think he's supposed to be angry in this scene, though. All right, so now we got a person. I hope you put yourself in there and not me. But if you did, make sure I say something stupid in the bubble for accuracy. So we're going to put this over here. We don't know exactly what we're going to say, so we're not going to make the whole bubble because it might need to be bigger. But we're going to put something like that. And then we're going to put in the spotlight. That starts like here, and it just rounds out. That's all. It's just something roundish. That's all. Something like that. And you want to put a shadow behind here. It makes it pop out. Crosshatch a shadow? Yeah. That's a lot of judo chopping. Oh, no, 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 they're fighting over a knife now. That's getting good. People watching this on Facebook have no idea what I'm looking at over there. Right. That looks like Dennis Hopper. Okay, so I put in the shadow, right? And I do the same thing with this here. Just fill in some lines. You can go fast or you can go slow. I like to go slow. Oh, by the way, so, uh, Christy Mullins asked, is this isolation therapy? Oh, man. I'm sorry, I missed that comment. Isolation therapy is, uh, yeah. Peter, I know you've drawn yourself. I do this every day. I know you've drawn yourself in this particular picture, but maybe, like, uh, you could go over how to do some simple characters. Yeah. Like, maybe how just to draw a face. You know, not... Maybe like I, I wouldn't know where to even start for my character. Maybe someone watching at home could send in a picture and I could draw them a picture of them. Stephen Bristol says, dude, focus. Okay, sorry. <laughs> He's right. So I'm putting in the shadows. I love to do this. This is just so much fun. Do, 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 do. And then I'm going to do some here. Huh, you hear what she just said? I think this will all be over in a couple weeks and it'll just seem like a bad dream. I hope we never forget the lessons we learn in this. I hope we never return to the way we were. If we do, then this was all for naught. We must learn to become one. So the, the, the coronavirus was just a vain exercise. <laughs> I think everything in life is exactly what we make it. We have the ability to be gods. And we create worlds every day. We invent worlds. We create situations. We create friendships. We make human beings, for crying out loud. We kill human beings. We, we 
ignore them. We love animals. We hate animals. We kill animals. We, we have a relationship with everything, but we don't have the time to look at it. We're so busy doing it. Now here we are stuck at this crossroads where we get to consider things like, who am I? What am I? Could I be doing things better? Do I like God? Am I mad at God? What about the people that I'm staying with? What about these strangers? They've become strangers to me. Sometimes we don't even know our own families. We sure don't love them. We can't wait to get away from them. Not all the time. Just sometimes. Now the audience down here, I like to make their heads dark. Because it makes it look like they're closer to the camera. Think of your eye as the camera. This would be the closest to us. And the closest things are the darkest things. The further something gets, the lighter it gets. Because there's more molecules of, well there's more molecules in between us. But when something's close, it's darker. I don't know. I know how it works organically. I don't know how to relate with words what I know with pictures. Me no have the vocabulary. Moment of inner freedom when the mind is opened and the infinite universe revealed and the soul is left to wander dazed and confused searching here and there for teachers and friends. Is that Jim Morrison? Yep. One of my, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> one of my favorites of all time, man. Let me find it. I really like Robert Frost, and I like Bukowski. And I like. Is Bukowski the one that, that, that wrote about uh, the, uh, the science of, of, of character acting? No. Bukowski was the bar fly. But what a poet. How's everyone's drawings coming at home, I wonder? There's one Jim Morrison poem that just starts out, can you dig it, baby? This meat is real. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I really like Billy Collins. You ever read anything by Billy Collins? I know who it is, but no. He won uh, uh, something. And I got to see him speak at uh, TU in 2009. And he read a poem called, I think it was called Undressing Emily Dickinson. It was so good. It's really. See, I have, I have this, which you can get. Bobby Brown. It's his prerogative. 
The Lost Writings of Jim Morrison. I have this one. Right? I've had this one for 30 years. Really? I got it in 89. I got the year I got out of high school. But I have this one as well, and you won't find this one. Oh, wow. Mohawk Imports? You got that at Mohawk Records and Tapes? Jelly? Ah, uh, one of the things I you'll notice about me is I always like to put bricks. I don't know why. I like to put bricks in the background. Because you're an old improv act. Because <laughs> you're Bud Freeman's, you're Bud Freeman's love child. Because I was raised by <laughs> Bud Freeman. You're a love child between Missy Shore and Bud Freeman. Kate says, Ah, oh, I love you, Peter. I've always sniffed God's image on you. Sniffed? Not off of you, though. I'm married. All right, I'll take that. It's sad, but I'll, I'll accept that. Lene Hopsworth says, Total agreement. Do something before, I think, that you were talking about. Probably when I was rambling. You guys weren't actually listening to that part, were you? <laughs> My apologies for trying to make any kind of point. I thought that Jim Morrison summed up your point wonderfully, that we, we are constantly going, and sometimes friends are the skin that we shed sometimes, and yeah. we, we are constantly searching for new friends and teachers that we can uh, relate to. Oh, yeah. We, you know... Happy little brick shed, you trying to say. Oh, I love you guys so much. I'm so proud of you all. You've been doing so good. If you're watching this right now, or even if you're not, So everything I said on this stand is the truth. That's what this movie's lacking is dramatic music. Oh yeah. There's nothing to set the mood other than the dialogue. That's why the movie seems so cheap. There's really nothing to set the mood other than the dialogue. Huh. It helps. <laughs> yeah, <that was> <laughs> Can you imagine that scene with who was the lady who who you were sharing the scene with that tried to run me over with your car? Oh, from Heroes, from uh, Jeffy. Yeah, I think her name's. Oh man, I can't believe I forgot her name. In the trailer, there was a particular uh, musical choice that really highlights that scene very well. Oh, yeah. It actually pushes your attention more towards the scene. The, the, the music isn't trying to steal the show. Oh, yeah. No, that music was a... They, they did a good job on, on that music. They spent a lot of time on that soundtrack. It was put together by Todd's cousin, Josh, who is in a band called uh, Story of the Running Wolf. If you have a second, go on YouTube and check out Story of the Running Wolf. They've got a couple videos that Todd directed, and they're amazing. They're based off of, like, um, David Bowie, Labyrinth era. And, um, yeah, Story of the Running Wolf. They did the, sound, they did the soundtrack to uh, uh, Jeffy Was Here. That guy is so talented. Josh. I'm going to do my sign signature, so I'm going to show you how to do it. 
It's Eric, just show people how you do your signature. Yeah, here's how to do my signature. It's Followed just, by, I'm going to give out my social security number and my mom's maiden name. I wouldn't give out my social security number. <laughs> like I know it. <laughs> it's just seven little dots. One, two, three, fourth one, I pull down. And then three more. I'm going to stay on this case even I have to do it on my own. Has anyone ever talked to you for 1961? That brings up some interesting mental pictures. Has anyone talked to the barrel? <laughs> Was it consensual between you and the barrel, huh, Jamie? The barrel's got some complaints. <laughs> he says he never gave you permission to have anyone over him. We've been hearing things about you and the uh, barrel. How long have you been dating the barrel? I tell you, we're not dating! The barrel had said that they had food in the fridge with their name clearly marked on it. And it was gone after you were in there. What do you got to say for yourself, Jenny? Okay, so. Now, we gotta write something funny. This is the dilemma. <laughs> this is where I always get stuck. <coughs> the funny. Suggestions? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what kind of suggestions are out there. What do you guys think is funny? Oh, and when a cop starts to break the law, a person should be very careful. Okay. Anyone write any suggestions? Out of my house. No? Oh, the word ointment. Jessica Joy Hernandez says the word ointment. I did a comic two years ago of a pig, and it said uh, when a pig has a rash, use ointment. So apparently Jessica Hernandez believes the word ointment be funny. Ointment. In the area of comedy, the word ointment is not a disappointment. Oh, boy. I apologize for that. Obviously, I need to get out more. How you doing, Jessica? How's Colorado? Your captions always nails it. Satisfying move indeed. Says Matt. Of Van Dievender? Van Dievender. Van Dievender! There can only be one. Hmm. Jennifer Pollet says hi, Pizza. Who? Jennifer Pollet? Tell her I said hi. Well, I mean, she's. Oh. <laughs> Tell her I said hi. Hmm. Funny, 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 funny. Hmm. You know, Van says this thing. He says, nothing's funny, but everything is hilarious. I tend to agree. Do you think that... Do you think it's unfortunate if a comic got on stage and they hit him with a spotlight and he thinks that's it? Well, there's my light. <laughs> he just walks off. a real Commodore's thing going on with that cool leather jacket. Maybe it has something to do with his... It can't be about the virus. Has anyone written anything? Sandra Slade says hi. Sandra Slade says hi. That's right. Sandra Slade? Are you kidding? I went to see my doctor and told me I was clinically insane. I said, no way, I demand a second opinion. He said you're all so ugly. Thank you, James Edwards. <laughs> That's good. That's good. It's really good. Hmm. 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 
What else? Oh, we could do some sort of play on the word Corona <laughs> being a beer. Yeah, that has a good touch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, comics, write a joke without the word toilet paper or Corona in it. Just try. Just try. Okay, so we're going to write a joke here, <laughs> but the challenge is to not use the word toilet paper or Corona. Well, you really tied my hands here. Yeah. I feel like I'm playing that ball, uh, that, that new game that's like volleyball, but where you can only use your feet. What's that called? Blake Dyer says, hi there, Peter. Hi there, Blake Dyer. What's going on? Hmm. Jennifer McGill says, I just lived through Charmageddon. Charmageddon? Did you watch the entire series of Charmed? Is that what that is? No? Okay. Um, All you need is one joke, Peter. Just one. one. No pressure. Just write one joke in front of people. This is like that scene from Walk the Line where he's like, Hey, if you were going to leave the world with one song, make it that one song. Yes, sir. You know, I hate that movie so much. I hate that they take something that is as complex as Johnny Cash and put it in an hour and a half. And I don't hate it. Hate is too strong a word. I meant I like it. Okay. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. <laughs> Peter's going to try real hard to write a joke in front of people. I wonder if there's a Corona brand toilet paper. Wouldn't that just be the strangest thing ever? I bet there's not. Please don't squeeze the Corona. Hmm. I'm glad you're going to live your life twisted up inside. You finished? Yes, I'm finished. So when Nathan dies in a gas chamber and spends the rest of his life in that prison cell, my life is finished. The only thing I can do is hate you. Anyone write anything? <laughs> Come on, people. Come on, people. i got to finish this drawing and you're not helping. <laughs> Of, because of what's going on, right? Something along the lines of something within the, the framework of tonight's show was not filmed in front of a live audience. <laughs> have nobody. Do you have people drawn in there already? Are those heads? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, you can't do that one. Jokes if the audience came back. <laughs>
1861. And the cops like really chase him hard. Sorry, Mr. Craig. Jack, let me help you! We've got a great idea for a picture of time. You gonna let us make it? Else we need a couple of thousand dollars. Give me $30 and I'll have a movie to you in the morning. <laughs> I like the way he runs. <laughs> Can we use sound stage number? No. You gotta do everything on location. Everything backlog, boys. You're filming in my backyard. <laughs> my daughter's having a birthday party. You gotta film around me. Try to keep it down. <laughs> These kids are having a party. Unless you can do balloon animals and then join right in. Keep your movie shooting down. These fifth graders are having a party. I'm here to watch the art and the classic. Thank you, Cy. Thank you, Simply Cy, for being here. Welcome. What are, what are we doing? Hey, Cy. It's probably about 2 a.m. 2.43 a.m. UK time. You need help, Chet. You've got to face the truth, Chet. Did you come up with a punchline for your comic hit? No. Dude, he's supposed to be saving this guy's life, but he drew his gun out. He's like, don't make me shoot you down, Chet. Yet. But just it will! Just because I'm pointing at you, pointing good at you. I'm a cop, I will if I have to. Come on, Chet. Oh, that's a creepy Come shot. Look at the up angle, baby. I promise you we'll help you, Chet. Oh, that's super creepy. Don't you hurt me. Oh, you can trust him. Wait, I thought they were supposed to have a, some social distancing here. I mean, they're pretty close. Starring <gasps> Ronnie Burns. They're going to roll the credits right now? What? That's awesome. I'm sorry. Things have gotten so bad. That girl that's playing the... In Dude, the I'm loving the music. I'm oh, like, it's great. As soon as they brought in the synth, I was like, this is my jam. The girl who's 
asleep on the bed. Yeah, yeah. She's married to Tig Notaro. She played my wife in the. I mean, uh, yeah, my wife in the original Jeffy Was Here trailer. We were in Groundlings together. That's how I got to know her. Great, hilarious, comedic genius she is. Way by oh yeah, these guys are legit, man. They got played on the radio and LA, and you know, pretty good. Very talented. And Todd directed this video. I think Todd's man. Oh, no doubt that guy's got a Bowie vibe happening, right? Yeah, that's Josh. That's her name, Stephanie Allen. If John Hughes and David Bowie had a blood dragon size 80s baby. Wait, hey, Crown Park Vincent is in the, in the music video. The lady who was in the Boston Valley. Oh, yeah. She was also in Groundlings with us. She was an instructor. card from my mother for great clips so I use it for a, a guitar pick when I'm playing my guitar because you got to use it for something yeah the other video is based off of um, what's it called uh, Hit the pot shop. no um, weird science oh okay. yeah this video is based off of weird science great uh, Things have to be some kind of time. some of the best version of it I've heard. Yeah. It's really popped the last three years with like tons of new They're new live shows. Artists, but this is like from five years ago or more and these guys were killing it. Yeah and these guys their live show in LA was doing really well. They were being very well attended their live show. 
But that was like uh, that was some years ago. I, I don't know what they're doing now. I haven't talked to them in a while. We're gonna find them. Totally gonna find them. Maybe that's it. We didn't have Django play. Maybe that's why you don't have a punch form. Got to have Django. Squeeze the chrome and baby snort. Uh, she also says she can't wipe with a virus. Hot gingerbread, dynamite, straight up the post, but that is nice. Back in a black and white, about to take a back in. Jennifer Gill says I wiped with a chrome bottle. Mike Markwood says, What's cracking, lovely? Face the truth, Chet. Hashtag. Hey, fam. Melissa Beck says, so Could you still make the heads more cylindrical as if you talked to people instead of people? Ha, funny you should mention that. <laughs> I think that's what I was about to say. That sounds really funny here. Clint Eagle says, Things have gotten so bad I'm watching Peter not draw comics on Facebook. <laughs> oh, that, I should have used that. This is last week's comic. Justin DeVore says, does everyone in Tulsa own a green screen? I don't know, but, uh, I don't know, Dustin. I've only been doing this for about three years. This address is... Wait. Can they see this? Yeah. Both. Both, both. Everybody can see it. It's on, uh, it's on the Twitch. It's on the Twitch stream, and it's on, uh... Perfect. Done. Nah. Okay. Eric Hyman says it's so good. Oh, uh, Eric, I love Eric. Eric's great. Now, I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. That's why Whiteout was invented. Dustin, you get to sit in front of this great screen in like two weeks. April 10th, Dustin DeVore will be here. Boom. Dustin is very funny. He uh, is, uh, he is well, a... Melissa Beck says she loved last week's comic as well. Oh. And Eric Hyman says you are great. Like Tony the Tiger? Do you want the you want the toilet paper one? Done. Who does? Hawks do. Uh, one of my users, one of my, one of my uh, Twitch guys. He wants the uh, the TP that you did last week. Okay. And then uh, there was somebody else that wanted one of yours tonight, right? Oh no no. Uh, Who was it? It was. Let me look at the pictures and I can tell you. Because they wanted. Uh, they wanted something specific. Was it Colonel? Was it Colonel? So, if you're drawing at home, I hope it wasn't this one. This? Did I promise this to someone? No, it was this way. Did you? I'll look. Everybody gets a picture. Well. Everyone gets a picture you today. Get, you get a new car. You get a new car. Let me look. Someone, someone earlier said. And there's. Oh, he wanted the dog. That's right. He wanted the dog. That's right. Well, let's put the dog back up here. Who was it? He has a dog. It was somebody watching the. Man, to say. It was somebody watching the Facebook feed. Master won't. Luke Renner. Luke Renner. Okay. Hawks Dune's name on the back of this one. So 
Hawkspoon gets this one. Luke Renner gets the one you have. And we'll be mailing those out this this week. Jason the Niblick, hurry up and get to it. Don't just hate when internet has a fly. Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Niblick, you madman. I miss you, man. Yeah, when's he coming on the show? Dude, let's get Niblick on here. You don't owe me anything, Hawkstone. Hey, wait a second. What? Let's get Niblick on here. You over internet board, to be honest. But Aww. That's, that's a. That's hey, a, any of you who wa who are watching this, over, porn, I just want to say, I am so touched. <laughs> <laughs> nice choice of words. <laughs> oh, love a good good long time. Says he's got two computers, he's watching both. <laughs> he did say he missed the movie tonight, though. It was a good one. One of my favorites so far. I know this is stupid. I don't care.
70 with no pants. I really enjoy uh, I really enjoy uh, cross hatching. I I don't know why, but this is very pleasing to me to do. Satisfying. It's very satisfying. Very satisfying. And you know, it's unfortunate that I can't show you at home what what how good it feels to, to do small cross hatching. Like to see it, to, to, to draw it on something this big and then and then look at it and go.
Fuck's <laughs> terrible, love you, man. <laughs> I've got a guy here, 70 years old, who's watching you draw right now. I'm trying to figure out what Peter is drawing is hard. Damn, I wish I was stoked. <laughs> Where's he from? Uh, Hawks do. Uh, without me, without dogs and me, man, just... I, I got an idea. Tell me what time zone you're in. That, that'd be a good way to do it. Just uh, so you don't give out your, your location. Oh, okay. Ohio. He's in Ohio. I've always liked Ohio. But really? No. The people. Uh, okay, anybody watching on Facebook, anybody watching on Twitch right now, please. Um, Kevin Hanna, excuse me guys, I'm looking for Peter Bangood. Is he hiding behind that long hair dippy? <laughs> What did he just say? <laughs> Kevin Hanna says, excuse me guys, I'm looking for Peter Bedgood. Is he hiding behind <laughs> the long hair Hi, Kevin. Want some coffee? Yeah, he's on your he's on your Facebook. Oh man. Okay, so everyone... Kevin is Kevin is in Seattle. And he is an extremely talented animation director. Yeah. yeah. He's got beautiful family. Like eight kids. Wow. No, like three. Oh. I was kidding. I he, bet he really likes his life. Yeah. Uh, man, beautiful family. I miss him. He says, "Hey, buddy." Yes, Peter is hiding behind this long-haired, dirty hippie. Somewhere beneath the layers of dander and filth. He says five. He's got five kids. Fish you too. Yeah, man. Peter, Heather Golden says, miss you, Peter. I miss you too. It's wow. part of your Facebook crowd. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not. Peter has a joke for every letter of the alphabet. So if you guys just want to randomly yell out in, in chat a letter of the alphabet, he can do a joke for every letter of the alphabet. It's true. Okay. Um, Hawks Doom says Z. Uh, Z? Someone else says, I'm, I'm waiting for H. <laughs> just wait for the right one. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the H. <laughs> Come on, someone say H already. <laughs> no, Z is easy. Britton Pryor says F. F? Yeah. Can I hear H? No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Z. I'm still working on Z. Oh. So my joke for Z is um, I haven't been sleeping well lately. Because I, I got a... Every time I go to sleep, I lay my head down and I think of the Philippines. The people, the food, the culture, the music. And I've never been, not once. That's what I get for being cheap and buying a used memory foam pillow. Now, why is that Z? Because Z means things are sleeping. So you were having someone else's memories in their memory foam pillow? Yeah. yeah it's not fun. Debbie Gray Barnell says H. Did I hear it, H? <laughs> H! <laughs> I was watching television at 3 o'clock in the morning, and a commercial came on, and it said, Do you suffer from hesitancy? And I was like... <laughs> so, uh, what else? What other letter? Uh, F. F? Brent, Brent Pryor said F. F? Yes. Okay, F. 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 A good F joke. A good F joke. It doesn't uh, have to be good. Oh, yes. Uh, in the future, I notice that everyone dresses a lot cooler after the apocalypse. It's like the bomb goes off, and then someone's like, here's your leather pants and your chainmail shirt and a dune buggy 
and a midget. We'll see you at the Tina Turner concert. Future. F. F. Joe. request for him, but I don't know if I can take it. M. I love my mom, but I don't like to stand close to her at parties because people ask where I'm from and I just point. And it makes everyone uncomfortable. And then she leaves the room. And I say, well, there she goes. Uh, Thank you everyone who submitted a letter. <laughs> Thank you for submitting. Keep the letters coming. Keep those letters coming. <laughs> this is the stuff that first. Keep those letters coming. <laughs> Talks to your mom so much. She's ninety-five. Wow. What do you guys? What do you guys have in the water up there in Ohio, man? I'm gonna tell people about you, Fox Two. I'm gonna be like, yeah, there was this one kid in my channel. His mom's 95. <laughs> Peter, do you enjoy Ertag? I do. What is it? for your house party <laughs> so you can come over all you need is a 12 foot green screen three cameras do you have I... do you have eight friends that you could throw together <laughs> then let's have a party not ten we I can't... said eight <laughs> who is that 11th person here I'm a law-abiding comedian make them leave <laughs> His mom is an artist too. 95 and still holding a brush. Well done. Wow. Or she may not be a painter. Okay, so Perte did. Um, Perte did uh, little uh, like statues and bronzes. Also did paintings. Mm -hmm. Very 20 s Art Deco kind of stuff. How do you spell that? E R T E. Mm -hmm. But I love the color and the stuff. I mean, this is yeah, that's gorgeous. Very uh, like 1920s and even before. Arte. Yes. Let's try that. But you want to draw one of these? Yeah. Let's see. If you're drawing at home with us, <laughs> if you want to place your eyes after a head. For those of you at home that are drawing along, how to draw her tape. I don't know, what would be a good picture? I want everyone to run to your cupboards, get a grocery sack, and some chalk. Now, Gonna puree this. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of a profile, but it's just like the side view. It's like a hieroglyphic. It's two-dimensional side view at first. Ooh, I like that. Let me print that. Let's draw eyes. You're gonna print that, right? Hey, while you're out there, is there any way that? Sorry. Best PA in the world. What you Dude, just here for John Tyler, ladies and gentlemen, John Tyler, and Tara Tyler too. She's not getting your coffee. No, she's not. She's, she's dead to me. You're the best. I'm unless she's listening. 
Let's draw eyes. Do you want to draw an eye? Here, you take the pen. Should it be a funny eye? Episode of Erte Made Easy. Oh, you're drawing Chucky now. Ooh, coffee for Muwafi. Mmm, that's cold. That's good. Should I repeat that? No. I like this. Do you guys see this? Can you see this from your studios in Burbank? I'd like to thank Jay. Uh, from NBC Studios for tuning in tonight. Uh, Brian Jennings, this is marvelous, he says. I love you. I love you. Oh, I was blocking the Facebook channel. I'm sorry. You had to see my spare tire. Oh, you got to see his derriere. Uh, John Tyler with the coffee. Fox Jim says, my daughter teaches art in school. What kind of building are you in tonight? What kind of building are you in? Let's do this one. Uh, we're just in the regular old studio. For more information about Erte, please Google Erte. Go to Erte.com. <laughs> Erte.edu. Yeah. Erte Dude, if there's still money to be made off that art, I'm sure there's somebody in the family claiming to be the, be the closest descendant. You know? Well, yeah. I mean, you have to. <laughs> yeah. If you don't stay on top of it, no one will. It's a Peter Bentgood motivational moment. Nobody's ever going to pay you what you're worth unless you fight for it, and then it's not going to happen. Sounds like that sounds like an old. This sounds like an old uh, Isaac Woody bit. Never, no wait. Try, no, that's it. Never try. <laughs> Do you remember that bit? Who was that? Isaac. No. He was the one I remember doing it. He did it at a Tulsa Comedy Club. Like years ago. Always, no wait. Never, no wait. Try, that's it. Never try. Always never try. He was his closer. He's trying to give people life advice. Okay. 
Uh, are these for sale? Monster? You can open if you want one, dude. I'll get one to you. We have a few to choose from if you would like a Peter Benjamin original. Uh, the, the Monster, the dog telling jokes, is going to Luke Renner. Um, Hawks Doom is getting the toilet roll, uh, doing stand up or giving a speech. Those are the only two they're spoken for right now. <laughs> if you would like to purchase one Oscar, then those proceeds go to help a performer that you might know that needs. You know what? We all have a lot of friends that are that have got their shows canceled. So, you know, instead of buying a picture from Peter, why don't you take that money and help out a performer like Peter? <laughs> you are the worst agent ever. Hey, Slash I, best. I've got a guy who would be great for this picture if he doesn't ruin it. Is that? Yeah. Is that how an agent works? <laughs> He's a terrible drunk. But he'd be great for this picture. If he'll show up. Which I doubt he will. So, should I call him? Let me give you his number. Sa mère, Negros, était danseuse. Son père, un artiste en ville. I don't know what this lady's saying. I don't speak French. I hope that's not going to be anything in whatever she's talking about. No one who speaks French is insulted by what people say. That's some, like it's against the rules of learning French. Like, the first thing they teach you is not be offended by anything. Would you like me to do something on that video? No. Bring it, bring it, Oscar. Bring it. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Hit me. Hit me. And don't say cliff diver fan art. Or cliff diver. diver. <coughs> They're a great band. Heather Golden, all right. Love you, Peter. Tonight, it's near midnight in the East Coast. Come out to Asheville soon and check out these comedy clubs with me. Oh, man, it'd be great when comedy clubs open again. Yeah. Godspeed. This year, next year, this time next year in Jerusalem. I think that's the saying. You know what it means. It means, God willing, this time next year we all will be healthy, happy, wise. Oscar Manuel has typed two words in chat. Are they mattress... Penguins. No. What is it? Hot dog car. Hot dog car. <coughs> well, since there's already a hot dog car that exists. No, that's a wiener mobile. That's completely different. According to Oscar Mayer. <laughs> we don't want to infringe on them by calling your hot dog car a wiener mobile because they have really good detergents. You're doing a hot dog car, not a wiener mobile. Gotcha. And please don't put a Disney logo on it this time because they have good lawyers too. Right. <laughs> gotcha. No Star Wars figures driving the car. I don't want to see C-3PO in the passenger seat. <laughs> I swear, dude, if 
you might as well just go on the air every every time you do this show and go, Scientology is a cult. Because the kind of stuff that you do is going to get us in trouble with so many people anyway. <laughs> you might as well have the Scientologists after us as well. Of all the things in this world to be worried about, Scientologists <laughs> is not one of them. It's like I don't wake up in the middle of the night going, ah, Mormons! Is Scientology practicing social distancing right now or are they still get together? You know what? I would say that Scientology has been practicing social distancing for a long time. So I never want to go anywhere near them. I'm sorry, Christy Alley. Uh, Oscar Manuel says original only. Hot dog car, original only. C'est à Paris qu'il faut être. Paris, ses cabarets, ses clubs, où un jeune violoniste fait lui aussi ses débuts. Stéphane Grappelli. Django et Stéphane ont déjà entendu parler l'un de l'autre. Tous deux ont animé les rues de leur musique depuis leur plus longue jeunesse. Stéphane Grappelli joue à la Croix du Sud. If only it were that easy. I really do worry. Because if, if I hear like a language that I don't understand, I'm like, is this going to get me banned? I don't know what they're saying. Right. And even if I plead ignorance, well, I didn't know what they were saying, then why did you play it? Like, uh, yeah, because the stop button was all the way over there. <laughs> I'm glad you represent me. Your Honor, have you seen his configurated <laughs> room? <laughs> Look, man, we can eliminate all the middlemen if we learn more than one job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be the agent and the producer and the PA, and I need you to be the entertainment lawyer, right? the accountant. Got it. So I need one Bernie. I need a Bernie, a Maury, and a Dave. I definitely need a Bernie, a Maury, and a Dave. And you'll need... Um, uh, probably two Mars and a Joe. And if we get all those jobs done, we won't have to hire people to do them. So I'll be your agent, but you be my lawyer. And then I'll help you on the PA stuff, and you can be my accountant. All right. And then we won't have to hire those four guys. The Hot Club invites the musicians Americans to the passage of Paris. Coleman and Kids, Eddie Starr. <laughs> Frog Children says best boy key grips and gaffers all deliver the food. <laughs> yeah, because we're eventually going to run out of time where we won't even be able to. Give me 30 bucks and I'll have a movie for you in the morning. <laughs> eventually we're going to be so busy we're not going to be able to do it our own catering. And that's where they get you. Is the food service. Finish up with that scene and get started on the pasta. <laughs> These people are hungry. These extras need to eat. But I'm the star, Pop. <laughs> I don't care. I'm the executive producer. Oh, my gosh, dude. That is such a great premise. A mom and pop film. Mom and pop film shop. Mom and pop studio shop. Yeah, it's a family business. A family film business. <laughs> well, I guess the Howard's been doing it for years. Yeah. Name another famous legacy. I think the Baldwins. Not just the actors, but I think their ancestors are like the... Were court jesters. Because there's Baldwin Park in L.A. There's, I don't know if it's the same Baldwin. Oh, you think? Uh, okay. A multi-generational... Let's see, I mean, really, the Howards aren't. I mean, you got Rance and you got Ron and Clint, but what did their kids do? Yeah. Directed. So I guess well, no, no, Ron's daughter is director, right? Bryce. Has she, has she been in front of him? You mean behind it? She's yeah. been in front of it. She starred in something? Yeah, his daughter was in... Uh, Oh, that's right. Lady the in the Water. Was she the one in the new Jurassic? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She was in Spider-Man. Okay, so yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a legacy. We'll go three generations. That's a legacy. Okay. Whew. The Howards are going to be so glad to hear that this that this happened tonight. They're going to be like, oh, Ronnie, 
Ronnie, I hope you're sitting down. Until they open the film studios again, Ron Howard might need a gig. And if he's available next Friday, I will bump See if he'll direct Hector Ultraeus if he wants to come through and do an interview. Would you really have me on? With Ron Howard? Yeah. I would have Senor Spielbergo on right now. <laughs> Things have gotten that bad, huh? I'd even have Spielberg on this podcast. This thing sucks so bad, I'm gonna have to start switching to 8-listers. Park student says, I know a bald one. Not what I said. Not what I said. ultra-violent. Like mom and dad used to make. I want to make pictures like mom and dad used to make. You know, ultra-violent. <laughs> You're all like Sam Peg and Paul Bill? Yeah. <laughs> look, look, folks, they remade salad days. And there was, um, well, uh, Straw Dogs. What? Sam Peck and Paul did Straw Dogs with Dustin Hoffman and it's such a dark movie. It's ultra violent. I wonder how it would turn out if you did something kind of dismal, but you did it in 4 k Like, you know how all the sets in Napoleon Dynamite are all like, uh, wood panel wall covers, the shag carpet, there's not like a lot of light in the room. Right. Now imagine that in the highest definition possible. Like dismal, the 4K dismal. I see it. Like you want to see dreary and depressing, we can show it to you in ultra high definition. I love the stuff that no one else likes. I probably would have just drawn a normal car and then people go, wait, that's not what I asked for. And they're like, well, how do you know what kind of car the hot dog drives? <laughs> what are you, hot dog? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you think he has to draw a car shape like himself? He's just, he's, he's just that big of an egotist? Might be a Chevrolet guy, you don't know. He could like Ford. He could just like trustworthy cars. He's not a showboat, you know? He's a wiener, he's a hot dog, he's... <laughs> oh, true, it'd have to be a Corvette, because he's a hot dog. It'd have to be something kind of black. What was the second one you played? I don't know. Call it fiddly diddly. Django just came in there and just like whacked out an hour's worth of music. And yeah. the guy's just like, we'll just keep up. You just play, we'll just keep up. He's and like eating it's... some potato salad. And they're like, what was that last song you played? He's like, uh, potato salad. 
And he's like, uh, okay, well, what about the other one? The other one? Uh, shoelace. <laughs> that was shoelace blues. It was the shoelace rag. Well, what about this no, this song we're laying down right Nagasaki. now? Nagasaki. What? Itchy neck. <laughs> Itchy neck blues. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face blues. <laughs> How about chocolate babies? What? Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> <sighs> itchy neck. It's my favorite Django song. Uh, here's a Django Reinhardt with itchy neck blues. Let's see what the name of the songs really are. Minor sling. Three fingered lightly. Yeah. The Sheik of Araby. Have you seen Django Reinhardt's uh, fingers? Yeah. Sweet George Brown, Honeysuckle Rose. Two different versions of Luangas. Uh, Belleville, the Mayor. He does do a good after he's gone. It's one of my favorite songs. Oh, I love that song. And then there's a song called Nagasaki. Like, what was his Japanese influence back in the day? Probably an opium. <laughs> Peter Van Good gets honest answers. Hey, why do you think that, that, guy's, uh, that guy's wife left him? Money. <laughs> next question. Yeah. She's shallow. Next. Get in low, right? Oh no, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can uh, decipher this. Okay, it says. Do do do. Please, fact fake two hundred IQ as viral toilet paper. Safe, love, no pants. Oh uh, man, I'm gonna have trouble putting that in the sentence. I'm gonna have trouble getting that out of my head. Who was that? Yeah, that's my friend Hawk's doing. Tell Hawk's doing that I want some of whatever he's having. Peter Bedgood. People want to know. They want to. They want to. They want the real questions answered. They want the real Peter Benjamin. Could you please tell them who is your favorite Meg Ryan in Joe versus the Volcano? Come on, throw me a challenge. First of all, it's not going to be. I gotta say, it's the snotty sister. No, nah, it's the one that works in the basement with him. Yeah, she's good too. But I like the bratty one. What, you, you die? What, you take me out to dinner and then you tell me you're dying? She's yeah. so good. Oh, yeah. Who, who, you know the guy who wrote that uh, and directed it? It's from Tulsa. What? No, wait, he's not from Tulsa. He, 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 I saw, I met him at TU. I don't know this. Yeah, the guy who wrote it, he also, uh, Shanley. He also wrote Doubt. Isn't that strange? The same guy that wrote Doubt with John uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman also wrote Joe vs. the Volcano. Thomas Michael Shanley, uh, or Michael... T Written by John Patrick Shanley. John Patrick Shanley. He doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. It's just typed in there. There's no, there's no link to another page. Oh yeah, the directed by. He directed as well. Yeah, okay. he came to TU and he spoke. He was dating a friend of mine who's from Tulsa. I don't know if he's from here, but... His play, Doubt a Parable, won a 2005 Pulitzer Prize for Drama and a yeah. 2005 Tony Award for Best Play. Won the 1988 Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for his film Moonstruck. Oh, yes! What? I forgot he wrote Moonstruck. What? Yeah, that guy... Get out of here. Yeah. That's one of my favorite movies ever is Moonstruck. So I love it. has an Academy Award and then finds Jim Morris the Volcano for what? Just for fun? It's actually a pretty deep 
It's a great movie. It has a lot of spiritual significance to me. It's about facing your fears. It's about being willing to go, not just stare into the void, but literally jump into it. You got that much out of it? I just thought it made me want orange soda more. I mean, yeah, orange soda, but still, the void and looking into it, whatnot. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Bedgood, who got that much out of Joe versus the volcano, but walked out of Dead Poet Society going. Dead Poet Society, first of all, as trite as it sounds, changed my life. A lot of us. Dead Poet Society made it, made it cool to actually write and read poetry. Before that, they had a word for that. I can't remember what they called me in the locker room, but it was. Oh, I remember. It wasn't Carpe Diem. Yeah, I remember. A lot of people were surprised when I married a woman, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, even I was. <laughs> they didn't think of poetry, poetry writers and readers uh, married women back then. Shanley's academic career did not begin well, but ultimately he graduated from New York University with honors. In his program bio for the Broadway production of Tao the Parable, he mentions that he was thrown out of St. Helena's kindergarten, banned from St. Anthony's hot lunch program, and expelled from Cardinal Spelman High School. Yeah, he was a he was a good kid. <laughs> not according to Catholic schools. I know, and what do they know? <laughs> They're good at getting one thing done for kids. No. He was heavily influenced by one of his first teachers, Sister Margaret McKinty, on whom he based the character Sister James in his play Doubt. While at Cardinal Spelman High School, he saw two school productions that influenced him. Number one, The Miracle Worker. The Miracle Worker, that's the uh, Helen Helen Keller story. Yeah. And uh, uh, Sereno de Bergerac. Cyrano de Bergerac. That's the one where the guy whispers to the guy what to say to the girl he's trying to woo because the guy whispering is the one who's trying to woo the girl, but he has a long nose. So it's he does Roxanne. Right. It's Roxanne. And the same initials. Cyrano de Bergerac. Steve Mark's character was Charlie Bells. C D Bells. Huh, you're right. Man, you you know the weirdest stuff. I loved I loved Roxanne. I also, also loved the old black and white movie Cyrano de Bergerac. Yeah, you know who was in a good version of Cyrano de Bergerac was the uh, the guy from Green Card. If you've never seen Green Card, the French actor uh, Gerard Depardieu. Yeah. He's in a really good version of Cyrano de Bergerac that was in the eighties. What time is it? I don't, uh, is anyone 10, still watching? Ten forty-five. You have eight people on Facebook, and you have. Half a dozen on Twitch, so about fifteen people. This has been it. amazing. I mean, not the show, but uh, you know the 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 fact that people are watching. Yeah, totally. They're having a great time. Okay, so uh, this is for uh, Oscar Manuel. Oscar Manuel. Oscar Manuel. Does he want his name on it? Ask him to send me a picture of himself. Thank you, Hawks. He says he loves the podcast. Big fan of yours. He never shows up for my show, but he's always here for you. Tell Hawks Doom, <laughs> hey, Hawks Doom, I love you. I love your face. Well, That's stay, something. Stay safe. Stay, stay safe. Well. I love your safe face. <laughs> you know, it's weird. If you take safe and you rearrange it, you get the word face. Actually, you just got a couple more people on Facebook. Really? People are showing up still. Okay, well, let's keep drawing then. Oscar. Send us a picture of you. Are you watching, Oscar? Oscar, are you watching? It says he's on. Okay, Oscar, send me a picture of you, and I'll put you in here. I'll put you, like, right here. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't have been driving it, but he already cross heads the crap out of the driver's window. Yeah. <laughs> Jaden, just wondering why you're squinting so much, old man. Because I'm an old man, dude. Don't be rude. <laughs> That's my friend. I've known, so. I've known him for so long. Can you, can you give me a heads up on that last name? Is it Kucharski? Kuworski. Kuworski? Kuworski. So the C-H-A-R-Y. Is it's all silent. The entire name is silent. It's just Jaden and then trust me. 
That's his name, Jaden. Trust me. You pronounce the K and the U and not the S K and the S K I. Yeah, I've never understood like why have a name that has seventeen letters in it but three sounds. Because that's what the police is all about, man. Or Welsh. Welsh will have like three L's in a row followed by a D W and then finally a vowel. And it'll, it'll, pronounce, it'll pronounce like CL. Have you ever seen how the word clandui brefe is spelled? It's like L L E W E L L L D. Ask me how to spell my name. Bed good. B E D G O O D. But the mime is silent. Hold on, Oscar. I'm getting it in. Let's see what he's saying. Show this to Oh! I'm kidding. Oscar is sending us a picture right now so I can draw him. What? That's a drawing. He wants me to do a drawing of a drawing? I will. I'll do a drawing of a drawing. I don't know. Can you see this? I can. Oh, dude, this is, a, this is kind of recent, too. It has his name on it. It has a clip back for that. And a clip back for T-shirt. Okay. Looks like somebody had it. Dude, this almost looks like Japanese anime. Look, look yeah, it does look like anime. Look how clean the lines are and the, and the shading right there on the nose. Somebody's... I know, like that. This is like pro. Oscar, why are you harassing me for drawings when you have someone else doing your drawings for you? Obviously a pro. <laughs> Obviously a pro. Probably. Oh, man, I closed the... Tell him to send me a picture for real. I need a picture, Austin. How I got my wife, trust me. Jake says trust me works. Trust me? Yeah. Like you said his last name was just K U trust me. Yeah. And he's like, that's how I got my wife, trust me. I guess trust me works. <laughs> so well she took on his name. You know, that's not easy for a woman to do. Well, I mean, it's, it is really easy, actually. To marry a guy who thinks she can't even pronounce it. Right? That's, that's true love. love. <laughs> you know it's love if you n married Johnny uh, Pee Pee Faceman. You know, that's love. It's like you changed your name from Deborah Crystal to Debbie. PP Factman? I see the spelling face proof that Oklahoma educational standards are all time love. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that someone picked that up. Sometimes I make jokes and I just do it to someone. I do it to see if anyone in the room is smarter than me. <laughs> Usually I'm pretty disappointed. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's disappointing? No, be, I don't know, because I said, you know, if you mix up the word safe, you get the word face. Yeah. And, like, no one said anything. No, I was like, did. They got it. I'm glad someone Dude, said something. This is the internet, man. You can't get them. No, you can't say anything. You can't even be. I did. I one time on my stream said, I will I will give handies for follows and people will come by and follow my channel. And I did it for, like, half a second, and then I went on my night. Somebody clipped that. It's still floating around there. The internet doesn't forget it. Oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Did he send a picture yet? Yeah, that drawing. I don't want the drawing. I'm gonna find a. Well, I can't. I'm using my phone. Yeah, you can. Oh, oh, I got you. Wait. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, it sounds like he sent something. Yeah, we use one. I really like this. I can tell that it's huge. Oh, dude, for real. Uh. Is it good? Okay, so Oscar sent a... <laughs> I'll have to set the screen where it doesn't yeah. um, close. Okay, Oscar sent a picture. It's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and use Oscar's picture. Okay. And from the way he is, I could probably put him right here. And I'll just white out some of that tire. And it'll be like he's showing off his car. He's showing off... Wait! Is this Wienermobile his? Hot dog I, car. I assume it's for him. It's not a Wienermobile, it's hot dog car. Hot dog car? Okay. 
I don't even know where to set this now because we're using it all of our tools. Uh, oh! Huh. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, there you go. Just perfect. Slide around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that good enough to see? Yes, that's good. That's good. Well, can you guys see that at home? I can. I can uh, make it up. Let me show it to them first. Okay, so this is the picture of Oscar that we're working from. See how goofy he is? You see? He's not goofy. He is so goofy. <laughs> Ask him, he'll tell you. Oscar is goofy as they come. I saw him do stand up comedy. He is so funny. Alright. Now I'm gonna have to get that unibrow. These things first. <coughs> I love Oscar. <laughs> Things you never thought you would have said before. That's amazing. <laughs> first things first. Let's take care of that unibrow. What if that's what Ted Kaczynski was? He was a unibrow. It would have been a lot... I don't know why I just said that. I'm sorry. I'm going to stick to what I know. Um, first of all, unibrow is... U-N-I-B-R-O-W Uni Right As in one Right The Unibomber is U-N-A It stood for University and Airline Bomber Really? Not, not Uni U-N-A I never even thought to care <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kidding Oh God No, no, I'm kidding <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. I really am. Well, that's a show for tonight. Well, thanks for joining us. Peter will never be back again. The Hawks dude says he was my uncle. That joke bombed like Ted Kaczynski. I was told earlier this week that I should play Ted Kaczynski if they ever make a movie about him. And I was like, first of all, they did. And second of all, I was not invited. I don't know if they made a movie about him. I saw Will Ferrell play him a lot. Yeah. says, things are getting really bad. That lady called curbside Joe the pickup line. What? Kate says, for, in quotes, things are getting really bad. Oh, she's talking about that joke I did. That lady called curbside Joe the pickup line. That lady called Joe. What? Curbside. That lady called Curbside Joe the pickup line. That lady called Curbside Joe a pickup line. Yep. Word for word. Are you sure you're reading that right? <laughs> Or things are getting really bad. That lady called curbside joke a pickup line. That lady called curbside joke. That lady called curbside joke. Curbside. <laughs> oh my god, he does look like Ted Krasinski. Um, let's see the let's see the link they gave me. <laughs> uh, oh that's a lot of Oh, 
Oh me. man, come on! It looks. That oh, that man. is me if I took better care of myself. <laughs> Ted Kaczynski had it together, according to pictures of him and me side by side. I'm the before picture. He's the after picture of me. Oh! Did I do the bombing? Did I do it? Dude. Okay, let me see if... Okay. Okay, she says, Ah, my curbside joke. Small businesses are curbside now. Pete top. Okay. <clears throat> yes, that is one explanation, but Hoxton came back and said... Would you like a ride on my wiener, lady? It's parked in the curbside! <laughs> oh, okay, right. CJ Spider with six people coming in raiding hard. What? Oh no. We got you, CJ. We gotta we gotta prepare. We we didn't clean up. We have to put some tea on. So basically what we're doing right now, CJ, is you know what? I'm gonna put this on a, on a side screen because I can do that. We're gonna. We we just noticed there's a strong similarity between Peter Redgood and the Unabomber. So I don't like this, by the way. I do not approve of this comparison. Do not go to your computer right now and Google Ted Kaczynski, and then hold it up to my image. Please don't do this. Keep my name out of your mouth. I gotta find the, I gotta find the, 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 the Peter Krasinski pictures. Oh yeah, definitely do a split screen of me and Mr. Kaczynski, because that's really cool. That's kind of the opposite of what I was saying to do, but <laughs> that's fine. That is so not cool, man. Wait, let me... Let me... Let me see if I can... Wait, hold on. Are you going to... I, I, let, me, let me channel Unabomber, man. I can do this. <laughs> too late, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do not report me. <laughs> He's already in custody, dude. Or is he still alive? Yeah, wait. No. I don't, know, I don't even know the answer to that. I don't want to laugh at that. I got, I got principles. Let's find out if this guy's still around. He got a, uh, he can't be. No, he is, dude. Really? Uh-oh. 
Yeah, it'd be a shame if we had a current picture of him in like a prison jumpsuit that we could be terrible. That'd be terrible. Maybe if we had a maybe if we had a black and white show. Gingerbread and dynamite, trade nothing, folks, but that is nice. Back and back, back and back, and back 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 I wonder, like why, I wonder why they couldn't get a color camera where it's at. He looks happier. <laughs> I like envy him. He looks so... <laughs> he looks like he's really come to know some good Dude. stuff. <laughs> they moved him out to the... He moved out to the woods to get away from people, right? And then he got arrested and they put him in solitary confinement. I'm sure he's happy as can be. Yeah. He's like, this is what I've been working all the whole time. You finally heard me. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely getting cast. If we're just this it's his story, I don't see how they miss you, man. I don't see how they look over you. You've got to be the go-to guy. <clears throat> Living in the shack is tough, and prison is a vacation. <laughs> they gave him exactly what he wanted. Solitary living with three square meals and more. Well, plus he has, he has a, plus he, he probably has access to a computer and probably has all the time that he wanted to have originally to write his manifesto. You know, because sometimes when you're living in the cabin in the woods and you've got a manifesto up here, it doesn't mean the manifesto is going to make it out to here. Guys, don't let Peter tell you he'll nail you his drawing. <laughs> <laughs> what does Brian Jennings know about you? That's good. That's good, Brian. Very good. Very good. Wait, what does he know? Nothing. <laughs> Could go back now and... <laughs> Wait a minute, he accused me of that or something. I need to stand up for myself. Dude, I love the Oscar shirt, man. It's classic. It's classic Oscar dude. Careful. <laughs> I don't know what you're about to draw, but I was about to I was about to get a commercial. Don't let him cut me, folks. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> if I see anything that looks sinister, man, we got to go to break. What time is it? 11.06. Oh, perfect. I just remembered I have to be nowhere. Isn't this the greatest? Yeah, I think I'm gonna spend like, you know, if it doesn't rain or something. Oh yeah, Ohio time it is at the
Can you tell if they can hear this on Facebook, the music? Coffee. <sighs> what a beautiful day it was today. The sun came out. I think tomorrow or tonight it's going to be... I can hear it on the playback. Okay. Sean Anderson says, I can hear the music. Brian Jennings says, we can. Oh, cool. It's low. I, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, <clears throat> I'm trying not to pipe it up too much through the speakers because we're also broadcasting on Twitch. Yeah. Which means they'll get an echo from the mic that's by Peter plus the playback of the music. Coffee with Jack Daniels. Who's having coffee with Jack Daniels? Breakfast of Champions. Oh, baby. I have given up drinking for this entire thing. I know it's poor form. I just don't want to become like Jack Nicholson in The Shining, you know? All oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Come here, baby. Guys, say hello to... This is... To my friend. <laughs> Say hi. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. This is the dog that ruined the pineapple upside down cake that John's lovely wife, Tara, made, I assume, for me. <laughs> and this dog ruined it. Is this one Rosie? Cookie. Cookie. I always get their names mixed up. This is Cookie. Guys, for just $2 a month, you can have this dog come and do shiatsu on your back. It's not very good. It's only two bucks. As my dog is. Hey, ask Oscar what he thinks. Hey, Oscar, what do you think? Oscar wanted me to draw this because his name is Oscar. Don't you? Uh, if it was a wiener we'll do it, yes, but it's a hot dog park. Yeah, but I think we both know it's a wiener mobile. <laughs> I mean, for legal purposes, it's not an Oscar Meyer wiener mobile, but it's a wiener mobile. It's an Oscar. Vehicular. Okay. What's, What's that called? Sauerkraut. Vehicular sauerkraut? What? Nothing. It was just random. Dude, St. Patty's Day. This was the sanest St. Patty's Day we've ever had. I didn't get my usual. Sean Singleton went down to Fazor Hall. They weren't even making it this year. They do a corned beef dog that instead of uh, having kraut on top, they use the grilled onion and dill pickle. Mm -hmm. well, sure. I've had that. That's delicious. Good. They didn't do it though. I'm surprised they did anything. Well, that was the day, right? That was the day they shut everything down. So that was yeah. like the last day to be able to pull it. Yeah, but most people I knew were already headed indoors on St. Patrick's Day. Oscar says, unexpected, but I love it. Unexpected. Thank you, Oscar. Make sure you get it right. Unexpected? That's a, what does he mean? Maybe it's 
better than we thought? Let's hope. I'm gonna go with that. John, yeah. John, yeah. The whole Man, how old is this song? It was probably new when this came out. <laughs> I've heard Ray Charles' version. Dreams I see the road leads back to you. Georgia, 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 Georgia. No peace I find. No peace I find. Georgia on my mind. One last thing. It's like everything switched over. Oscar. We've got three on Facebook, and now we've got a webin on Twitch. Well, that's the way it goes, I suppose. everyone that they are loved and that it's nothing but beauty waiting. Be patient, be kind, and for crying out loud, enjoy this experience.